Hi everyone, Jill from Red Tent Australia here. I'm sitting with Jane Slate Leach. So Jane is a leader of women. She works with women who have experienced domestic abuse and domestic violence through the Life2 project. And we're very excited that she's going to be coming and presenting at Boundless Self Love Retreat this year. Um, she came to the last retreat as well, but this year we're really happy because she's going to be doing a workshop on recognizing the signs of domestic violence. So this is a huge topic. Yes, it is a huge topic, many, many aspects to it. Just started to feel the weight of it as I was talking about it because, you know, we can sort of breeze over it and look at the headlines and things, but it's affecting so many women. Mm -hmm. So the workshop that you're bringing, Jane, to the retreat is going to be different. It's a new perspective. It is a new perspective. There's much, much focus on um, in the mainstream on what is domestic violence, what are the signs, and very much focusing on that crisis, uh, a lot of prevention, and um, and it's very much focused on um, uh, the the male perspective because you know we 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 generally recognize that it's male violence towards women that is the major problem and we do know that it goes the other way of course and in same-sex relationships uh, but we're talking with women here so mm -hmm. you know this is the experience that women have um and um you know a lot of the focus is on how to avoid the actual physical events and what are the signs that a physical uh, abusive or emotionally abusive situation is mm. creeping up what are those signs and creeping up because it all starts somewhere <clears throat> doesn't it mm. and, and i i mean for me i think maybe it's even before the first slap well i want to go even further than that yeah so um, so for those that are watching if this is a completely new topic to you and, and please put comments or questions in but we we're, we're going to really dive into this so um jane's going to share some information that may be completely uh new to you about what are the signs really and how yeah. can we how can we stop this potentially yeah. from becoming a dangerous situation yeah, yeah. well there there are many signs in the 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 there are many, you know, well-documented pieces um, making people aware of, um, you know, what is gaslighting, what are, you know, what are the coercive behaviours that a male perpetrator would display towards a woman. But where I want to come from uh, is what are the signs in, in you as mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. that you are willing to accept those behaviours on mm -hmm. some level, whether that be consciously or unconsciously, Most, mostly unconsciously yeah. because it's part of our programming and, and it's part of our societal um, conditioning family conditioning and also we're you know we're talking a, a heavy epigenetic load coming wow. through our DNA yeah. as oh, well so, much. so female suppression in general is a huge problem in our society it so is and, and I'm thinking and I'm sure anybody that's watching this is probably going through uh, you know, several different people that they may know in their own families or have known in the past who have experienced this, if not within our own, you know, relationships. And, and how do we clear this? How do we work on this? How do we recognize it? Mm. Well, that's the, the, the key is recognizing it. And the key, and, and another part of the key is accepting it, acknowledging it, and removing any self blame from our own participation in this yeah. because that is a huge damaging part of what we go through as women you know we we place all of the responsibility on ourselves generally in, in many of the situations that we find ourselves in um or you know we we place the blame elsewhere um, and I'm talking blame, I'm not talking responsibility. Yep, responsibility and blame are very different things, yep. very different energy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, yeah, a big part of the healing process is the recognition, the acceptance and acknowledgement, and then being empowered to actually take some action and do something about these very very deep core belief systems that Absolutely. we're all carrying because we have these aha moments when we hear something that's uh resonating and is familiar for us in a situation that we've witnessed or have been in it's like oh wow that feels so true mm -hmm. that feels so true now what do we do exactly what are the next steps yeah. and how can we um prevent this from happening again to us but also you know as mums yeah. yeah yeah well we have to first of all go inward and be willing to go inward we carry 
many, many demons, as we all know, and it can sometimes be a challenge to face ourselves and who we really are. Yeah. Um, but actually when, you know, I run retreats for women and when we actually get into this work and actually really revealing, coming through and revealing who we are, who we have been and who we potentially could be, you know, who, who we potentially are going to keep being if we don't make these changes yeah. or who we can become if we do make these changes. There are fears on both sides of that. Absolutely, because once, once you're aware, once you're awake, you can't go back to sleep. That's exactly Once right. you know these Once things, you, no, you can't unknow. The it. opportunity, and especially at this retreat, and definitely at the retreats that you run, is that you'll be able to recognise these things. And of course, it's it's boundless self love retreats. So you will be held, you will be held and supported through these uh, awakenings and and acknowledgements, and given some tools to then move forward. So um, for anybody that's watching that might be going, oh gosh, am I brave enough? Can I go to this? Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they may know that they're in a, a dangerous situation. It's, you know, it may have already been happening or it, it could potentially be going that way. Mm -hmm. Any advice that you can sort of gently um, encourage them and inspire them? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, at no point, at no time during any of the work that I do with Jill or in my own work, are uh, you compelled to actually share your story? So, you know, it's, it's we, myself and my team are very um, adept at working blind with, with people if they don't want to share, if they don't feel that they can share. But we create a very, very safe space. Um, and a lot of intuition is used as well. Absolutely. Feeling into it. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, we, we ask certain questions to to draw out emotion rather than events. Mm -hmm. So we work with emotion. We work with those deep feelings. And we work with being able to recognize and look at what those feelings are because they've been held in quite potentially for many, many years, decades. Generations. generations yeah um we've been holding those and the willingness to look and be held in that safe space and um you know be revered for who you are yeah as a person as a woman uh you know th this this is the important part of it we are all about healing we all all about radical self-care as part of being an activist in this space i love it we actively promote women putting themselves first, taking themselves seriously as an individual, as a human being, mm. because we know that the feminine is in many respects dismissed on a societal level. Our input, our opinions, our our contribution is often seen as less than. Absolutely. So we and have so this, to start... this is almost like a line in the sand. Yeah. That once you know and once you've watched this video, once you've come to this retreat, even before the work is already being done. Before you even arrive, the work Absolutely. is already being done and the foundations are already being laid and, and the opportunity if you choose to take it is to make a difference not just in your life and your family's life, but for the following generations of women. Because uh, exactly what you see that the, the radical self-care that needs to be in place and, and I come from a, a long line of martyrs yeah, <laughs> yeah me too me too and and the, the behavior now and, and and I catch myself doing it of putting everybody else first mm -hmm. and I know some people call it the burnt chop syndrome yeah oh yeah the or, or the crusty pizza yeah the pizza syndrome yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and this is exactly what we're talking you know we, we go into this um, but how how deeply ingrained is that in our society that we fully accept it's it? It's the norm, and part of us accepting that aspect of it contributes to us accepting shitty behaviour, mm. abusive behaviour, dismissive behaviour, mm. and we see it all behavior. the time. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so we, we are preconditioned to accepting yeah. that that's, you know, that's, that's our place in society. And I, and I for one, don't accept that. No. And, and when I did you, for a long time. And when you know better, you do better. Mm. And so I'm so grateful that you're going to be coming presenting this workshop, mm. not just for me, but for all of the women, the women that are watching, the women that will be the ripple effect that will happen after this. Yeah. Um, and because and, once, you, once you change this fundamental belief, you can't help but pass that on to next generations yeah. Yeah. and you begin to yeah. behave in a different way and people view you differently and people accept you as a different being in this world um they have different expectations of you and you know once you are able to stand in your own power you garner more respect generally absolutely and then that shifts the energy on that frequency level and you begin to not attract those lower energies you begin to attract higher frequencies and higher energies that match you mm -hmm. and this is the whole point of it we've got to change this paradigm at the frequency level so people start to begin to leave behind those lower frequencies and we can't we physically can't interact with them they become repelled by us. Yeah. yeah. And it just falls away. And and you'll mm. notice that when you start um, to, I guess, vibrate at a higher level and, and also um, educate about this sort of stuff, that the old relationships and the patterns and the beliefs will just fall away. Mm. In fact, they just... What is it like? Just they disengaged. They disassociate from you, and you it, it doesn't become. It's it's quite gradual, but yeah. it gains momentum with every decision and choice that you make in every situation that you put yourself in when you are standing in your power mm -hmm. and coming from a place of yeah, not taking any shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. And it becomes habit. It's not like you. It's not like you have to make a decision to not take any shit anymore. Mm -hmm. It just becomes who you are, and you behave that way naturally. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a thinking process. It's an actual sense of who you are and who, who you are becoming is becoming more yourself more um who you're meant to be, who you're meant to be. yeah I will. Thank you. If you have any contact or any comments, please pop them in the box. We'll answer this um, them later. I have put the way to contact Jane in the description as well. So her email address is there. If you are experiencing any domestic violence, if you're in imminent danger, of course, call triple zero, isn't it? Yeah. I, yeah. I keep saying call 911. It's not. I lived in America for a long time. I raised my kids in America, so I had to call 911. Um, although my husband told me this yesterday, nine one one does work in Australia. Oh, does <laughs> all of the, all of the emergency numbers actually all work? <laughs> there you so go. There you go. Anyway, uh, we really hope to see you at Boundless Self Love Retreat, Invoking the Warrior Woman. It's the last weekend in May, and it's in Redland Bay, which is halfway between Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Um, and happy International Women's Day for this week as well. Thank you, Jane. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank see you. Ya. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and please don't hesitate to get in contact with us if you'd like to talk. Love to see you there.